Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I want to talk to you about frequency separation to make the skin look awesome. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in Paris, France and Los Angeles. And I make one to two tutorial per week. Click here if you want to get all the raw files. In this case, it's an action, an awesome action that you can get for free. All you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter and you will get daily tips and daily promotions on all my premium courses. In the last episode, I talked to you about doing Pano HDR in Lightroom CC. Check it out. In this episode, I want to talk to you about frequency separation. Frequency separation is a way to retouch a skin to make it very natural and is a very, very powerful way to retouch skin that only works in Photoshop. But you will see it's really cool if you want to get that natural look of a skin well retouched. Here we go. All right, so I want to talk to you about frequency separation. Now, frequency separation is something that I use when I want to make a, a retouch the skin of somebody and I want to make it like a natural result, just a pleasing result. And I, I've I've learned a lot of techniques over the year on how to make the skin good. And I think this one is the most powerful that I've learned. And so I wanted to share with you. I'm not an expert in skin, far from it. But I find that this technique is pretty fast and gives good results and is rather easy to use, especially that I'm going to give you a free action uh, where, which you can use to uh, create this very fast in your projects. So this is a photo of the lovely Hallison Hogstone, which I've worked on the Hollywood and some movie I just shot. And she had a major part in the movie. She's an amazing actress. And uh, she asked me to retouch some of the headshots she had. And so here is one. She's got, you know, a great look. She's a beautiful girl. But I, she, I wanted to make her skin, a, you know, a bit more even, a bit more perfect. Even the best skin in the world always has, you know, things to correct. So the way the frequency separation works, and I will explain you why it's called frequency separation, is the first thing you do is you take the background layer. This is not even a raw file. This is like just a JPEG she sent me by email. But I'm going to duplicate it one time and two times. So I've got three times the same layer. That's the background, the original. This one, I'm going to call it blur. And this one, I'm going to call it details. Okay. And I'm going to put these two layers into one group here by dragging on the group icon that I'm going to call frequency separation. Oops, I made a little typo here because between the French keyboard and the English keyboard, I get into trouble sometimes. Here we are. So uh, it's it's kind of, a, it's a bit of a complex formula. That's why I'm giving you an action. But the way it goes is, yes, the, the first layer, which is the blur layer, uh, the idea is you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and believe it or not, you're going to blur it. And now how much you blur it is going to depend on the image. The idea is that you blur it until you don't see the pores anymore, but you still got some kind of details. Uh, and let me zoom out. I, I hope Photoshop is someday is going to do something about this uh, small window for preview because it really is small. Um, OK, maybe 16 is a bit much. I'm going to go to 12. All I'm trying to do is I don't see her pores like this, but I still see a bit of detail. So for some photos, it's going to be 12. For some other ones, going to be 20, something around that. So pretty straightforward, just a Gaussian blur. Then. The detail section, this is where it gets complex. And honestly, I have not really figured out all the mathematical formula behind it, but this is the way it goes. You go into, you go to image and you go to apply image. Okay. And then by default, you are here. And on the source image, sorry, on the, uh, on the layer, you, you're going to take blur. You're going to choose blur. And then here, So layer blur, blending mode, you're going to go for subtract. Scale, you're going to put 2. And offset, you're going to put 1 to 8. I repeat, uh, you just change the layer to blur because you've named the layer blur. And then you blending mode, subscribe and scale 2 and offset 1 to 8. What that's going to do is create a, a basically a, a layer with just the details. Okay, And this one, you're going to put then into linear light. So that's pretty complex, but again, I'm going to give you an action that's going to do this automatically so you don't even have to think about it. Anyhow, so once you've got these two details, here comes the magic. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in 
and I'm gonna try to make her skin a bit more even. And you will see it's very subtle, but I'm gonna take the lasso tool, which is here. I'm gonna make sure the feather is on like 20 pixels so that we have very nice feathering. And I'm gonna take a big portion of her skin here, for example. All right, so I have a selection and I'm gonna to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And this time I'm usually going into the 20, uh, and you see in real time what it does. Check it out before, after. You see how it makes the skin how it makes the skin much more even. It's pretty crazy. I think it's a bit too much. Or around yeah, 17, 18. Look at this before and after. It's a big change. Okay. Then you press Command D to unselect. And then you just keep going. You know, just take some other part of the skin. Like this. Not touching too much the hairs. And this time instead of going to filter, Gaussian blur. And doing it again, you see here at top it says Command F is going to redo the last filter, which was Gaussian Blur. So boom, Command F and it does it. Okay, Command D, and then I just have to select something like this and press Command F and boom, it does it. And uh, look at this, look at the change before, after, look at the change. And all the pores are there, everything is there, it's just like uh, everything got more even on her skin. You know, all the reddish and the skin color is much better. Uh, let's see if we can do something around our eyes here that may, that could work. Okay, Command F. Yeah, did a bit of work. And she's got some like bright on in her eyes. Command F. Okay, check it out before and after. So that's the that's the first step. That's on the blur. Okay, now we're gonna take care of the details. We didn't do anything on except you know playing around with just the uh, made the colors much more even which is nice now I'm gonna take the hitting brush tool or the spot hitting brush tool and uh, the way it works and I'm just gonna take out some small spot on her face you know we all have little blemishes and things like this here we have a little bit of red I'm gonna see if I can take that out a little bit more so that's too much so when something like this, when you do something and it's too much, what you can do, which is really cool, is you can go to Edit, and you see here it says Fade Spot Hitting Brush. Shift Command F. What that does is the last action you did, you can fade it out. Instead of making 100%, I can make it zero or anywhere halfway. Usually I do about 29%, okay? And so remember, it's Command Shift F. So that's one of the shortcuts you have to remember. Here's a little blemish. Okay, here also is a little blemish on the nose here okay now this I'm not gonna, I'm trying to do for something really natural but I'm just trying to make her skin look really cool but natural all right let's see the before and after I'm oh, sorry before and after it's already quite a change now I want to do something about her eyes there's too much things going on here so I'm gonna take the patch tool and then I'm gonna select all this right part here okay of the eyes and i'm going to drag and drop it on something clean now that's going to look weird so remember command shift f will we're going to be able to fade what we just did and so if i do to zero nothing has happened the the, the bright part is always here so i'm just gonna fade it maybe 40 percent maybe less like 30 percent okay command d to undo same thing here voilà. Okay, drag and drop it on something clean. Command Shift F, and voila, fade it here. Okay, check out the before and after. Before and after, it's cool. Um, let's see here. There's still some texture which is a bit strong here. Let's see if we can play around with that. Drag and drop it here. Command Shift F, and do. Uh, okay, now 100 is not working. Okay, this did not do very much. Okay, so you can jump in. All right, let's see the before and after. Pretty cool, there's still some stuff under her lips here. So let's see if I can select here. And as I said, this is not like a beauty shot. This is just, you know, making a friend look better. And I'm gonna fade this to about 50%. So you work on the details on the details layer and on the blur it's and the blur layer is just to 
makes things more even. Okay, we got. Oh, I'm gonna go back on details. Here, there is some little skin issues. Okay, never do it at 100%. Always, you know, back it down. Okay, and um, and you can really go into the details of you know the blemishes and stuff and make sure there is none. But I want this, especially for actors. Actors, I know casting directors don't want photos which are too overly retouched. So this is probably as far as I go. And I wanted to show you that frequency technique. And um, the cool thing about it is I'm going to give you an action to do it automatically. And if you think the overall result is too strong, you can, of course, lower the opacity and bring back, you know, how it was before or bring it back. But I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I hope on the video you can see it. Uh, so now I'm going to do some more retouchings to this. Just a few things made the eyes a bit brighter, uh, you know, a bit more sharp. Maybe take out some of the... Of the redness which is here a little bit so but first I want to show you this um, this action I'm going to give you as part of the download you're going to get this action called frequency separation dot ATN ATN stands for action all you have to do is double click on it and boom it's installed once it's installed I'm going to turn up turn this off you're just going to go into your actions and you're going to find the action which is here frequency separation okay and you just click play and then you get this message, adjust blur until pore disappears, but details remain, continue. So there, there you have the Gaussian blur, and this is when you can, you know, uh, do the, the Gaussian blur. And then, boom. And it's going to be ready to use this. It's here, frequency separation, blur, and detail. Okay, well, I'm going to throw that group away because I've already done it. But it's just to show you how easy the action is to use. And uh, it's really good. It's really good to have it. I mean, check out the difference. It's already a beautiful girl, but it's... She's even more amazing now. Okay, so now for the eyes, all I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make a little selection using the brush. Uh, I'm going to go on the background layer. I'm going to take my brush, make sure it's at 100%, and I'm going to go press Q to go into quick mask mode. So I'm just I'm going to double click on the quick mask mode option and make sure that the red is on selected area, meaning that whatever you paint, which is red, is going to be your selection. So now I'm going to paint with red. So I'm going to press X. If you don't see any red coming, press X until so black is the foreground color now. And if you don't see, see if you go over here like this, you've selected too much. You can press X and now you can erase the selection. I just want to select a little bit the eyes and this eyes also really quick. Press X if I went over too much. The top of the eyes is usually a bit less interesting. So press Q to go out of quick mask mode. So now I've got a selection, so quick, quick way to, and then I'm gonna to go to curve, and I'm just gonna brighten up her eyes a little bit. Uh, something is wrong with my, oops. I'm gonna put this above, voila. Okay, yes, so here we are. That's, yeah. So don't do it too much, but just a little bit, just to make, you know, her eyes pop a little bit. I think this is good enough. This is kind of good enough. And one thing which is cool that I learned from Scott Kelby to make the eyes pop really fast is you can create like Command sh Alt Shift E to create like a layer on top of everything, and then you can take the um, the sharpen tool which is here, the sharpen tool, and you can just sharpen a little bit the eyes and the the, the eyes and the eyes light licious, I think this little hairs and uh, check it out it's, it makes the eyes really pop a lot. Okay, and then I think she, you can also do some dodge and burn, like there's a bit of a shadow on the right, she, she told me she wanted to get rid of, so you can always, you know, create an empty layer, put it into soft light, uh, take, still take a brush, make sure your brush is very, is like 10%, not more, white is a foreground color, and now I can, uh, I can paint a little bit under the eyes to make it brighter, for example. You know, to brighten this, I can brighten a little bit some of the of the hairs here. You know, whatever I want to do. Usually, you know, whatever you want to put some attention on. And if you think it's too strong, you can just lower the opacity of that layer. Voila, but that's not... The main thing I wanted to teach you was to use the uh, frequency separation to get a nice skin very fast. Uh, oh, yeah, for the reddish, you see some redness here on the... Probably from a sunburn here and here. If you want to deal with that, one way to do that is you can use the hue saturation. That's what I do at least. There's many ways to do that. And then you're going to go into um, the reds. 
you click here and you select the the portion of the skin that has the trouble and then you just you can lower a little bit the saturation okay not too much and then the lightness yeah you can just play around but you see it takes the red out everywhere that's the problem it takes the red out everywhere when i only wanted to toggle really this part or this part but that's fine because by default there is a little mask this mask you press command i to invert it and then you take a brush and maybe make it more than 10 percent like maybe make it like 47 percent and you can brush some white on the mask and you know it's just going to take about take a, the redness a bit out i wanted to take on on here and here now it's too much so again you can lower the opacity of that to get a more decent result okay and i could actually ha have done here some of the uh, frequency separation here actually let me try to do that but the problem is that i'm going to lose my eyes which is fine i'm just going to turn off these layers i'm going to go back to the frequency separation here and i want to see if i do the lasso tool if i select this part here okay and i make it into filter um blur i will gaussian blur it's here but i want to redo it so blur gaussian blur may, maybe give it a stronger value oh no that's not good you have to watch to not do it too much let's see before and after it doesn't do much let's increase it that's a bit better makes it even more now it's too much that's 24 is too much maybe that's better yeah yeah, it is a little bit better but because uh, this is out of focus anyways so this is the layer of, of uh, okay well yeah it didn't do much it didn't do much so i'm going to bring back the use saturation that i did i think it's cool this is the layer for the, from from the eyes but you get the idea and this is the layer from uh, the uh, this one i'm going to i'm not going to use it and this is the one from from the eyes so let me show you the before before and after a pretty natural way but and um yeah and try the frequency separation it's really cool and uh, maybe uh, it can help get your friend's photo it's not you know there's probably a lot more advanced techniques you can use to get better result but i really like this technique i think it's fast and i'm going to give you the the action for free all you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter and you're good to go amazing Génial, super. Thank you so much. See you in another episode, mesdames et messieurs.